Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name's Emma LaFave and today I am going to be using my Our Car Creations granulating watercolors to create some really cute potted plant illustrations. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and let's jump in and get started. Okay, so today I wanted to play around with my handmade watercolors from Our Car Creation. It's a handmade watercolor company based out of India. Um, they sent me a lot of watercolors uh, a while ago. I did a video on them when I first got them and I haven't played with them too much recently. I've just been busy with other uh, videos and just craziness, but I do find myself gravitating back to this palette just because there are so many fun and interesting colors. So, and there might be something fun in the works soon with them. Um, but I did do a video recently on granulating colors and some of the colors that they sent me are super granulating and a lot of fun. So I thought today I would paint a couple of potted plants using these granulating colors for the pots um, and just kind of have fun, just have fun illustrating small things with some really beautiful handmade watercolors. So this is the color, these are the colors that are in the palette in the order. Um, I just got a palette off Amazon that I threw them in, but there are some really fun and beautiful granulating colors, as I said. So I forgot to put the names of each color on here. Um, I will try to get those because I did write them down. I think I had them in a sketchbook when I first watched them. Um, but there's like this really beautiful separating kind of green, um, this blue one. Let me try and find it. Okay, I found them. These are my original swatches in my sketchbook, um, but I really love these colors. So just in case you're interested, I am going to put their link below so you can check out some of these colors yourself. But this metamorphosis color is such a fun granulating color um, and they separate so it, in such a wild way. I love it. Um, Verdant is a beautiful green. This orchid of Amazon is really cool. There's a couple different potters pinks. There's a light one and a darker one. Um, but just so many fun colors and textures to play around with. And that's kind of what I wanted to do today. So um, I'm going to do that in the little sketchbook that they also sent me, which they make. And it's all handmade uh, watercolor paper from India, which is also really cool. So I think I did a video on this before when I first got it. But I love this vintagey kind of look on this paper, which is 100% cotton and really beautiful. I did some leaves here. I did this potted floral arrangement before. And like I said, I wanted to do some potted plants today. So I'm going to have this open here. And today is just about playing with color and texture and having fun. So that is what I am going to do. So I wanna use these um, granulating colors for the pots. So I think I'm gonna use that metamorphosis color which is there. And then this other one, which is called Dan Scholes, I think it is. Um, and then the Potter's Pink as well for a pot, just because they're really granulating. And I, it will look a little bit more textured like pottery, which I think would be cool. And then use a bunch of these greens that I got um, as well for obviously the plants. So I'm going to start off with the Metamorphosis one, which is this. And it's like, it separates. It's almost like a brown and a blue together. And I'm just going to do kind of like a fun circular pot. And this paper is really interesting to work on too. It's like super soft. Like it feels like cotton. It's, it's really nice. It's textured, um, but soft at the same time, if that makes sense. <laughs> And it's, it's fun to work on. It is beautiful paper, especially for paintings like these. So I'm just going to tap it a little bit darker. So it's so funny. I feel like I've, I've kind of explained that I haven't really liked granulating colors in the past, but I feel like as time goes on, they just, they start calling me a bit because I'm curious as to what I can do with them. Cause I think when I first tried granulating paints I was like why why do people like this this just looks like to me at the beginning to be honest it looked like cheap paint that wasn't doing what it was supposed to it just like it was separating and being all weird 
Um, and I just was kind of turned off. But then when I kind of discovered that people were really into it, I was just very curious, like, okay, well, how do people use it? What can I use it for? I want to try to love it because I love watercolor. And this is something in this medium that like pertains to kind of only, I think, this medium that it can take on a different texture like this. So I was curious and I continued to, I don't know, play around and enjoy it. So now I'm going to try the Potter's Pink. I think I'm going to do the dark one. I'm going to do like a taller base. this just trying to keep it simple and I find with this paper too it the granulation really comes out my size six is so beat <laughs> I mistakenly let my children get to it and it's like dulled down a lot but it still works it's all good like that I'm gonna grab a bit more I'm going to put the shadow on the same side as I did for that one. Maybe I'll do like a little base here. Like that. And then let's do that. What is it? Why do I want to say Dr. Scholes? It's not Dr. Scholes. <laughs> it's like... Dan Scholes, that's what it is. It's another separating kind of granulating color. Okay, I'm going to do a circle. This is how I try and get a symmetrical pot. So I do a circle first. And then I might even add some brown in this one. I'm going to have it kind of come out like this. But like, look at that granulation on these pots. It actually looks so cool. Like, they're little antiques. Like that. I want to add a little bit of brown in there, I think. Which brown? Add this brown. I do have to add the names onto these. Okay. So that's pretty good, I think. Do I want to let that dry first? I think I'm going to let that dry and then I'll do the plants. But look how fun that texture is so cool okay so let's let it dry okay now that they're dry I'm going to do some plants so I'm gonna take my smaller brush and I'm gonna start with hmm I'm gonna try this like light kind of misty green color and I want to do a plant that I'm gonna mix it with other things as well but I kind of want to have them like little stems and stuff folding over like one of those I don't, I don't know what the plant would be called to be honest I'm not a huge plant person All right, I'm going to change up the colors too maybe I'll mix it with a, the dark vintage green so it's a little bit darker. Kind of like eucalyptusy like plants. 
<laughs> I don't know. Just having fun with this. I'm just doing little dots as leaves, barely even leaf shapes. Gonna change up the colors just so some are dark, some are light. It will stand out a bit. I don't know why I don't do more like little illustrations like this. I I love doing this. I find it so calming to just kind of focus on little things that you don't need to be so quick with. And you can just kind of have fun with little tiny details. I think I need to do that more. Let me know if there's any other like <clears throat> little illustration type things like this. Or if you're even interested in this <laughs> in the first place. That you'd like to see more of. Because I like doing this stuff. I just don't. Okay. And then I'm going to. So that's it for that plant basically. Actually I'm going to keep it a little bit darker towards the base. Okay. But I want to go back onto the pot and I'm just gonna same color just kind of outline the bottom here a bit maybe add a little bit more shadow like that why not like that. Cute. Okay. And then let's do one here. Um, I think I'm going to do like a leafy green one. Or do I want to do, no, I'm going to do kind of like a snake plant. I do have a snake plant that oddly enough I killed. Um, <laughs> which is funny because they always say it's like a good starter plant because it's hard to kill them, but leave it up to me I could definitely do that <laughs> oddly enough though I have a, a fiddle fig um, uh, plant that has been thriving for like three years now don't know how I did that but it's grown so much and it's beautiful I'm just doing these long leaves have one come behind here and the texture of this paper is just so much fun too for this kind of thing that and then I'm gonna grab was it this one or this one I can't remember this is the potter's pink I think I'm gonna create like a an edge over here a lip to the vase that I didn't have have it kind of going around the back a bit darken the bottom you know, I can always add a little bit of maybe brown or something just to make it a little bit darker. Like that. Ooh, I like that. Okay, cute. And then our last one here. I'm going to do more of like a leafy green with some light greens and dark greens. Okay. I'm going to have like one kind of stem kind of coming out the middle and then just leaves kind of coming off of that.
have some leaves in front of the stem pointing different ways just so it doesn't all look like uniform and weird that. I'm going to grab some of that dark green, tap it at the base of some of these. And I feel like I might need to create the back of the pot. And then maybe some brown in the middle. And then I'm also going to add shadow on this one. I'm going to grab some brown. Looks like there's some dirt in there. And I think I might grab a little bit of that light green again. Just for some like lighter highlights on some of these. Like that. Cute. And then lastly, I just want to create a shadow at the bottom. Do I want to do like indigo or I'm going to do like this kind of dusty indigo. Just dragging it across to get kind of that that look of the the dry brush. Like that. Like so. I like that. That's a lot of fun. And there we go. How pretty. Okay. That was so much fun to do. Love these paints. Love this little sketchbook. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a like and I will see you in our next tutorial. Have a great day guys. Bye.